Back to Joe. Two questions. First, uh, you know, you signed with Cleveland on a one-year deal in July, and I assume the idea would be this to go, to get to of the course. finals. Of course, I mean that's but, the conversation I have with Tila. But now, <laughs> what has the actual journey been like? I mean, given just the total craziness of the season and everything <laughs> you guys have gone through, and I mean this. I mean, I can only speak for myself. Um, Everybody doubted us. Everybody had their opinions on what our team was, what we would do, what we can't do from the, from the start. I mean, we went, our season was up and down. Started off the year not as good as everybody wished we would start off. We went 13 straight. Then we have a, another dull moment in our season. And then we had trades and I mean, we, we've been through multiple seasons in one. And to be at this point where we're now <clears throat> going to the finals, um, for me, is it's a blessing. It's, um, you know, it shows the hard work, the team that we have, um, how hard we work to prove everybody wrong, prove the doubters wrong. And now, I mean, we're, we're where we want to be, we're where we set out to be, and we knew we can be at this point. Um, and, you know, we're not satisfied. We're not content with where we're at. I mean, there's two teams that's going to battle tomorrow, and one of them we're going to face, and we're going to prepare and get ready for them. But, you know, to be where we're at, through all the doubters, through all the, the hate, the I mean, you name it, uh, I think we had everything thrown in that direction. Uh, you know, but we have one of the best players in the world, and we – we're going to fight to the end, and that's what we did, and that's why we're at the point that we're at now. Candace Buckner, Washington Post. You just touched on it, um, Jeff, about the, everybody doubting us and, and all of that. But when you hear like pointed criticism about LeBron's teammates mm -hmm. and you're being one of them, as them, as them being subpar, subpar, how do you personally take that? Honestly, I ignore it because I know what our team is capable of. Every, like I said, everybody's going to have their opinion of what LeBron has around him. We lose, we have a terrible team. We win, oh, we knew they can do it. You know, it's it's the way it is, and you know, we 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 ignore it. We ignore it. We we just go into gym each day and we work hard and we try to get better, and that's why you know. When the time comes and we get on the floor, we know uh, we have all the confidence in the world in our team that we can battle with anybody. So we, I mean, we we keep all the negative energy out, and you know, we we continue to stay positive and you know, be with one another and and have each other back. Jerry, hey, uh, Jeff, Jerry Bemery from the Undefeated. What has this journey been like playing with LeBron, and what have you learned from him over the past year? <laughs> I learned possibly everything. <laughs> um, man, I'm alongside. One of the best players that ever played this game. So each day I come in the gym, and I'm by his side. I'm working out with him. I'm I'm getting up extra shots. I'm I'm seeing firsthand what it takes to to be great. And he leads by example. He comes in every day, preparing his body, preparing you know his game, his craft, working on his craft, and he leads by example. Um, I mean. I mean, you guys see it firsthand. There's not much I can say to try to describe what he does for us. Um, he brings it every night. And, you know, I mean, that's that's what he's been doing, and that's what he's been doing all year. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to have his back. I'm going to be in a battle with him. And, you know, I, I enjoy the moment that, you know, this is, that we have. And, you know, to be alongside him, I'm going to enjoy each day. And... Uh, continue to work to to get to the ultimate goal. Go with the last two, Steve and then Marla. Uh, Steve Ashburner, NBA.com. You know, with that in mind, there are a lot of reasons to want to win, and you talked about some of those. But is is there a sense of obligation to LeBron, in a sense, for for everything he does for that team, and and how satisfying is it to come through, not just for the Cavs, but 
because he's working so hard and, and you can help him. Yeah, of course. Uh, you want to be there for him. You want to be in the trenches, in the battle, helping him um, achieve the ultimate goal. I mean, you're right with him. So um, for me, it's a no-brainer to go out there and give it all I have. To, I mean, no matter how many minutes I play, I'm going to go out there and just play hard um, and just be there for him, um, be there for all my teammates and, you know, do whatever it takes to win games. And, you know, that's what I've been doing, and I'm going to continue to do that. Last one down front, Marlon. <clears throat> Jeff, when you had the heart problem, did you ever think about going to the finals when you were rehabbing? And <laughs> did, has that come to mind at all when you've played this series? Honestly, at that point, no. I wasn't concerned with, with the finals at that point. My concern was health and, you know, getting back on the floor. Um, after I got back on the floor, of course, that's, uh, that's the main goal um, is to you know, be able to compete in the finals and win a championship. And I'm here and I've, I've battled. I've worked my ass off each day since January 9th, 2012 to get back on this court and now compete for a championship. And I mean, I almost lost it all, you know, and now to sit here in front of you guys to talk about the NBA Finals and playing in it. I mean, I'm, I've been truly blessed to be able to step foot on this court um, to play this game. And each day I give it my all, um, whether good or bad, I live with the results. But I'm, I'm enjoying every single moment of, of this. It's, I mean, I don't, I don't take nothing for granted, nothing. All right, that's going to wrap it up for Jeff. Thank you.